Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach. We survived again to make it back to another Friday. This is the Electricians in Action where we get together every morning and talk about the code before we go out and fight the good fight. I'm really excited about today's video. Drop in the comments below what you're getting into out in the field today or if you have any questions, comments, or we just want to be involved with you, let's go ahead and get to it. Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to finish out the week talking about what cannot be used as a grounding electrode. We've spent the week learning the ins and outs and lots of different things about grounding electrode systems, but you know, are there a couple things that we're not allowed to use? So the first thing that we're not allowed to use, and it makes a lot of practical sense, is we're not allowed to use um, any type of gas metal piping as a grounding electrode. It makes a lot of sense. We have gas through it. We don't, you know, purposely want to impose tons of voltage either from a lightning strike or a line surge or from some type of imbalance or anything like that. We don't want to impose that on a gas line. However, we still can bond the gas line and use those codes accordingly. The second thing that we're not allowed to use, and it's so funny how the code states it, it just says aluminum. It doesn't say aluminum wire. It doesn't say, it just says aluminum. You are not allowed to use anything aluminum as a grounding electrode. Uh, you know, aluminum gets a pretty bad rap in the grounding world. You know, you're not allowed to... Uh, you know, use it as a grounding electroconductor, uh, you know, past 18 inches close to the earth. You cannot terminate any lower than that. So, I mean, there's lots of things that just make aluminum undesirable for use at all as far as a grounding electrode part of the whole system, whether it be the conductor or the electrode itself. But the code states you cannot use the uh, aluminum at all for any part of a grounding electrode. And the third one that we're not going to be allowed to do is we're not going to be allowed to um, use any part of the equipotential bond as our grounding electrode. And there are lots of reasons. We don't want an intentional current path out there. OK, we want you to build an equipotential bond and then have it ride on the very small ground coming back just from your pool pump or, you know, whether it's hardwired or cord and plug connected. We don't want a large path. Um, going out to the pool. We want a very small path coming back to the system. And that's a lesson for another day. But you're not allowed to use the structural steel of the sidewalk, for example, or the structural steel of the pool. We don't want a number four out at the pool. We don't want it run out there. And that's a lesson for another day. What we do want is everything at the pool to be at the same potential. And then if there is a situation, it's going to flow back on just the circuit conductor that feeds the pool, that equipment ground sized accordingly, you know, with whatever system you're putting in. With that being said, uh, these are the three things that you're not, a use, not allowed to use as grounding electrodes. It's uh, gas piping, anything aluminum, or any part of the equipotential bond that, that is going to be part of the system for the pool out there. If you have any questions, just let me know. Always ask your local inspector about different things and uh, you know what you are and are not allowed to use in their jurisdiction. These are NEC and pretty well going to be across the board, but you can always ask for further explanation from your local inspector. This is the Electrical Code Coach. Let's go ahead and get to it. Real quick before we go, if you haven't got involved yet, check out the community tab on this channel. You can join us in the two daily electrical quizzes and then join us every week for the Electricians Have Spoken episode where we go back and we answer these polls. I'm here to help you in any way I can. I just want to see you be everything you can be in life and in business. Let's get to it.